Good evening, I'm Bo Williams. And I'm Lori Tucker. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you notice someone wearing blue today, as we are, it's for a good reason, to raise awareness about human trafficking. Today is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, and as part of the Department of Homeland Security's campaign to raise awareness, they asked people across the country to wear the color blue. WATE 6 On Your Side reporter Naomi Hilmer spoke with the Loa Co Co Coalition today to learn more about what human trafficking really is and how people are trying to put an end to it. According to the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking, one of the largest misconceptions about this crime is simply what it is. We define human trafficking as the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the benefit of someone else. According to the coalition, traffickers exploit their victims' vulnerability to manipulate them into doing what they want them to do, either for work or sexually, and rarely are victims kidnapped out of the blue. Human trafficking is depicted very differently than what people think. Usually what we're seeing is that the trafficker is someone that the victim knows, whether it be a family member, a parent um, or someone in an intimate partner relationship or even someone's employer. It's not something that you just see on the streets and say, oh, I can recognize that as trafficking. Again, it's um, kind of something that's hidden in the shadows um, because there is a relationship involved. In 2023, the coalition saw more than 500 cases of human trafficking in East Tennessee. The majority of those cases came from situations where the victim knew their trafficker. The biggest thing is, is defining it and bringing awareness to it and helping people understand that it's not a snatch and grab situation. It's a relationship more than likely it's in the home, it's in the workplace, it's in places that people don't see. And with January being dedicated to bringing awareness to their cause, their goal is to continue educating those about what human trafficking is and supporting victims of these crimes. In Knoxville, Naomi Hilmer, WATE, six on your side. Governor Bill Lee also proclaimed the month of January as Human Trafficking Awareness Month to recognize Tennessee's support in nonprofits and law enforcement to address trafficking at the source.